We're out here in eastern Turkey at one of my research sites. We're between Kars and Lake Kujuk, our Ramsar site. We're, doing, we're interested in doing a roadkill survey. If you're interested in participating, you can use our new app, our Splatter Spotter app, which is free. And you can just uh, fire that sucker up. You can hit about us to learn about the project and learn about uh, how to collect data. Or you can just go directly to collect data. Now note, I'm not driving. My my uh, able assistant is driving, so I'm not doing anything unsafe. Most important thing, it's daylight hours. I, I don't want you guys collecting data at night. It's much harder to see and it's much more um, easy to get distracted and all that kind of stuff. So we only do roadkill surveys in the daytime. Once you activate the app, you have three options. You can hit current location, which essentially is gonna GPS mark uh, your wherever you are at the, at the moment that you push the screen. From the map is an option that you can uh, take after you get home and you know where the, uh, you recall at a particular intersection you saw a dead animal. You can use a map interface to drop a pin, which is gonna mark that location. Or you can use the transect option, and I hope that you mostly use the transect option. That's the most useful to us. That will provide the most helpful data. So I'm going to show you that. Hit transect, and you just hit the start tracking and go about whatever you're doing. And keep your eyes uh, on the road and all your safe stuff, and pass tractors safely like that and everything. Um, so we just go. If we don't see anything, we, when we get to our destination or when we're tired of this, we just hit the stop button right here in the upper right corner. Otherwise, uh, we just go till we see a kill and we just hit record a kill. That's going to take us into a toggle menu. Now, because we're driving and we're not necessarily going to stop every time or it might not be safe to stop or the individual might just be smushed, uh, heavily smushed. Um, unknown is a very common category for us. So we break it down though into unknown small, unknown medium, and unknown large. Um, you can also, all the organisms are categorized that way. Every organism falls into either the small category the medium category or the large category based on size, with small being squirrel size-ish, medium being raccoon size-ish, and then things like coyotes, wolves, deer, those fall into the large size thing. So you can select, you can, oops, excuse me, let me go back there. You can select medium, large, whatever, and it's gonna automatically uh, toggle, um, I've, I've gone through and I've scored all of our species into one of those size classes, so that's going to shorten the list for you. You can either scroll if you want to find your species you're looking for, or you can just click right here on the, the uh, window and you can begin tagging. Say it's a wolf, W-O-L, F, oh, nothing because I'm in the small. Wolf is large. If I hit large, then the wolves show up. And now I can just type that in. If uh, it's at a safe place, only if it's at an extremely safe place and, and uh, you have the desire to do, to do so, you may take a photo. And you can take it directly from our app or you can uh, have taken one previously and upload it from your iPhone library. Or it's perfectly acceptable to use no photo and just hit no photo and go on. Now this, this whole toggle, that photo menu and this stuff here is the same no matter what you do. If you drop a pin, if you uh, are doing a transect, etc. You can choose to leave all this blank. It's defaulted to be um, nothing, to have no value. If you don't understand what these mean, if you're not sure, don't worry about it. But if you do um, have a little bit more time and can give us some more information that is very helpful to us. Segment refers to 
Um, how many, you know, are you we're driving the whole road? Are you driving just a few miles? Something like that. At max speed would be the fastest speed limit on the segment of the road where the uh, individual was killed. Lanes um, represents how many lanes in total. In this case, our road has two lanes, so I'd put two. The next qu uh, question is lane visibility. What that means is on this path, could you see the entirety of the road? In this case, I can see the entire road. There's a tractor on that side coming towards us, and now he's passing us. Uh, and so, yes, I can see the vis the visibility is is all. If there was some type of divider, a tr you know, line of trees, something of that um, some of that nature in the in the middle, and I could only see my half of the lanes. In my case, that'd be one lane. Then I hit the half button. And that tells us that we're really only sensing half the road. Oh, look, there's some impatient Turkish drivers. Um, uh, then the surroundings represent um, what is immediately to the side. So we have undefined, which is a default, which means I don't know, or you don't know, or you don't have time to care. Urban would be a city. Suburban is the same idea, but less dense uh, construction, so more like suburbia. Cropland would actually be this stuff off to our sides here. In this case, these are, this is all dry farmed wheat. So we can say cropland orchards uh, are also agricultural lands, but these are treed agricultural lands. Rangeland, uh, this actually could be considered rangeland as well because when the, when the, in this particular case, when the wheat is done growing, um, uh, they'll graze cattle and other animals in these fields. Um, wild land refers to any area, it could be um, a forested area, it could be coastal sage scrub, it could be whatever you want to pick um, that is a, a natural landscape where people do not, uh, are not readily apparent. Wild land, oh excuse me, I just, just did that, um, uh, riparian is an area near a river, in or near a river, beach is obviously the beach, and mixed refers to a, the segment of the road had, multiple, had more than one of these uh, categories in it. Edge refers to what's right exactly here on the side of the road. So we have a couple options. We have a cliff, if there's a cliff that's dropping off there, or a cliff that's that's going right up uh, to the side. Wall, if it is a, a human created uh, up and down structure. Fence is obviously a fence. Trees or shrubs. Ditch. Uh, this would not be, be this would not be considered a ditch, but, but a ditch would be actually a, a really rapid depression and elevation, then wrap it back up. So an actual ditch. Um, open would be um, no, no barriers whatsoever, no ditch, no cliff, no nothing. And then elevated. This would be considered an elevated roadway. This one we're on here. So we are about three meters or, or ten to twelve feet above the surrounding land and that matters. That also counts if you're on a bridge, something of that nature. Uh, and then wildlife signs is just simply the presence or absence of wildlife signs. Weather is what the weather is now. If you smack this, you'll see the options are clear. Overcast, foggy, high winds, rain, snow. These are all broad conditions that affect the amount of kill we get. So right now we are looking at, obviously, clear skies. Uh, temperature, if you know roughly what the temperature is, you can smack that. And if you've seen the kill before. And then we have a comment window where you're welcome to enter whatever you want in there. Any additional data that can help us understand what's going on. And you just hit, you know, keep going essentially. And now if we don't see anything else and we get home, we can just hit stop. Or if we see another road kill, we can hit that. Now let's say we're done. And once you stop the, the transect, you have an option to send all. That's going to send all the data. And in this case, it's going to send it all. Now, uh, out here in Turkey, I, I have uh, my phone and all that kind of good stuff, but I do not have um, a Turkish cellular plan because all my assistants have Turkish cell phones. Um, 
So in this case, if I hit, if I hit send, I'm not near a Wi-Fi signal. I'm not on a cell phone network. It'll send it to my mail app, and then it'll just be queued up until, oh, look, we almost have some roadkill uh, uh, cow to show you. But uh, apparently uh, our wonderful driver is too, is too smart to hit a to hit a, road, hit a cow walking across the road. So anyway, you say send and that's all good. Once your phone comes next into a Wi-Fi signal or uh, gets back on us, the cellular network, it'll advance that, that email on towards us and that's great. So it's much appreciated. I hope you check out our Splatter Spotter app. It's in the iTunes store now. It's free and uh, please check it out and give me your feedback if you think it's useful or how we can make it even better. Thanks for helping us understand how fragmented landscapes are and how those, that fragmentation affects animals across the planet.